A major hazard for pilots flying into a local airport. And tonight, the FAA is forcing crews at the Nut Tree Airport to remove nearly a thousand trees that line the runway. CBS 13's Sharin Roger joins us live from the airport tonight, getting answers about the safety hazard. Sharin? That's right, Christina and Tony. Some of these trees were cut down today, but we're talking about nearly a thousand trees. So some people are pretty heartbroken to see them go. But the airport manager says this is critical. It's been years in the making, and he's certain that the removal of these trees will make for safer flying experiences here. Here. Pilot Alan Johnson has been flying out of Nut Tree Airport in Vacaville for about eight months, but has certainly noticed a red flag. Obviously, pilots can land with the trees there. It's just not ideal. Johnson, who was just checking on his Piper Cherokee Warrior, says the trees that line the runway can threaten a pilot's ability to land. So as you come in to land, you may be experiencing winds in one direction, and when you get low enough to the tree level, um, you can experience winds in the opposite direction or a change in the winds which obviously can create a problem for landing. They can also obscure vision. Whereas the pilots can see the runway, other pilots that are maybe on the taxiway or in the run-up area getting prepared to take off don't always see the incoming traffic. The airport has been working with the four affected property owners, including the city of Vacaville, to get the trees removed, something the FAA requires since it poses a safety risk. So these are just some of the 999 eucalyptus trees that will be cut down. In fact, the process has already started. But the good news is while these trees will be cut down, others will be replanted. I will be planting close to 5,000 trees to make up for the trees that they're removing to provide habitat on Puda Creek, about 15 miles north of here. At least 1,500 of the new planting will be native species trees. And while some say it's hard to see so many trees cut down, public safety is critical. The more safer we can make aviation, the better. You know, I look forward to it being more safer here at Nutri. Now, the removal of these trees will take about four to six weeks. The replanting will start in the fall, and the airport here is actually closed for about a week as they do runway repairs. By the way, you may be wondering why they're removing 999 trees. Well, I asked and said that they, they said that they counted exactly the number of trees, and that's the exact number of trees that they need to remove. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Busy airport for smaller airplanes, that's for sure. Sharon, thanks.